Michael Austin is a professor in immunology and virology uh, at uh, the, uh, at the California campus, actually, and the faculty of the Strick Research Institute. He is also an adjunct professor, as I understand, in the neuroscience department at the UCSU. Now, we all know that the contribution of Michael Austin to science has been outstanding. It's about virus uh, pathobiology, pathogenesis. Uh, it's about virus persistence. It has been the demonstration of the virus immunosuppression, that the T cell exhaustion, and this has been recognized in many very high profile awards. And in addition to this, uh, Michael Lawson has created the first, uh, one of the first centers, as I understand, for the Global Virus Network when the Global Virus Network was initiated, and it has always been extremely supportive. So. I know that Erika Olman Safir will also say a few words on uh, Michael Alston, as I understand. But so it's my pleasure on behalf of you. So after uh, Scott Weaver, Ab Osterhaus, Diane Griffin, to really uh, provide this award to Michael Alston. So and the at the same time, so we have decided to provide two awards this year. Uh, I really want to welcome Erika Olman Safir. Erika, if you can uh, come. So it's a great pleasure <laughs> to. Uh, to to have this award uh, transfer uh, sent to you. Uh, actually, Erika gave a fantastic presentation yesterday afternoon, which speaks for itself. It's really a fantastic combination between basic science, structural biology, biochemistry for the understanding of the viral host interactions, and you showed very uh, spectacular, I would say, results. But it's also an involvement, and you have again referred to, uh, in uh, collaborations, in creating very new format of consortium, uh, including uh, developing countries, uh, very efficient. Uh, uh, you are also working in the spirit, I would say, of the GVN and contributing to the GVN. And so, again, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to uh, offer this, uh, this award today. Thank you. So Michael is very sorry he couldn't be here today, but I have a statement from him that um, I asked him for that I could read to you. It says, for Michael, I am honored and pleased to receive the Global Virus Network Robert Gallo Award for Scientific Excellence and Leadership in Medical Virology. I accept this award on behalf of the Viral Immunobiology Laboratory of the Scripps Research Institute and 84 past postdoctoral fellows and three current ones whose work on viral diseases is being recognized. In addition, I am very honored to receive this award named after Bob Gallo, a scientist a cut above the rest and a good friend for many, many years. Gallo's vision and work was and is responsible for the formation of the Global Virus Network. I wish I could be with you today, but unfortunately cannot. I appreciate receiving your award along with my colleague, Erica Ullman Sapphire. And I echo Michael's statement. It is indeed an, an honor for, to share this award with Michael and to receive it from the GVN because uh, certainly what we have done in my lab has benefited tremendously from collaboration with all the GVN centers. But it was Michael and the Tulane Center that bent our ear and say, come work on arenaviruses. What we had managed to do for Lhasa was only within the context of the collaboration established by the GVN. The multiple papers of the Ebola Consortium we finished and wrote while on collaboration at the University of Marburg. Um, GVN Center, where I went on summer sabbatical in Stefan Becker's lab. And then not only were we able to finish that work and put those results out there and the models on the web, but also it established other long-term collaborations for other work with Stefan and his other colleagues. So the GVN has been an incredible framework to launch research of so many labs. And Michael and I are both very grateful <coughs> to be associated with it and with Bob himself who started it. So thank you very much for this honor. We're both tremendously grateful.
a short presentation from no no not, not, not to people. <laughs> not <now. laughs> we start with we have Joachim Segades to present oh, for the Barcelona meeting. <laughs> then <laughs> oh. uh, then we have Bob Gallo. So Joachim Bob and then we have just very few words from uh, Benedict Pensier and Hubert Hens regarding the, the Fondation, the Fondation Merlier. So, so Joachim, the floor yeah. is for you. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Christian. It will be just a five minutes presentation just to uh, announce the, the GBN meeting for, uh, for next year. I, in fact, uh, as you saw uh, yes, two days ago when I did my, my presentation, I gave you a uh, very first uh, slide, so hopefully it will come along because I see perfectly here, but I don't see on the screen yet. It's coming, okay. So just uh, for starting, please remind that the, the next GBN meeting will be organized together with the Spanish Society of Virology, and it will take place uh, between 9th and 12th of June, 2019. I know that it's uh, approximately, uh, approximately seven months from now. So uh, the, the whole history started two years ago uh, when we were in Sapporo together with Esteban Domingo. Uh, and at a given time point when deciding uh, where the next GBN meetings will, will come along, uh, a number of people start staring at us and said, come on, it might be, it could be a possibility for, for being organized in Spain. So at the very end, we, we start discussing internally together with the Spanish Society of Virology, and we decided to take the challenge. So the, the challenge, I believe, it's, it's ongoing at present, and uh, we really hope that it will be a, a nice and successful event for next year. Anyway, sure. Perfect. Thank you very much. So uh, here you have, in fact, the, the, the logos of the, of the meeting. And here even you have the, the web page, which is already set. And I invite you to, to visit without, uh, without delay. In fact, uh, as a local organizing committee, it's CRESA, and, uh, which is a center from IRTA. CRESA is one of the GBN uh, excellent centers. Especially, we are working on uh, research in animal health. Mm -hmm. And the local organizing committee is formed by those six people that you can see here. And in fact, I would like to, to uh, explain to you that there's a, a relatively large scientific committee, including people from the Spanish Society of Virology and people of the GBN. I would specifically uh, like to uh, acknowledge Dr. Fernando Rodriguez, who is the current director of CRISA. Fernando has been here in the last two days, but uh, today he had to, to leave to Lyon th this, uh, this morning, so he is not here. And Julia Vergara, who is sitting just in the, in the last uh, row of this, uh, of this room, she's here. I mean, she has been presenting a poster during the yesterday. And especially uh, my acknowledgments to Christian, Sharon, Natalia, and Johan, because uh, thanks to them, we have been uh, starting building up the, the program, and especially on the GBN side, that I insist it will be embedded in the, in the, whole, in the whole symposium together with the Spanish Society of Virology meeting. They did a great job trying to mount uh, uh, a really appealing program for, for next year. In fact, the, the venue is in Barcelona City. It's called the uh, uh, Auditori AXA. Uh, in fact, this Auditori AXA uh, has, uh, we will have three different rooms in a parallel session most of the time because at the very end, as you know, by organizing uh, two meetings all together like a joint venture, we will have the concurrent sessions. I have to tell you that the, the official language will be in, in English. So this means that even the Spanish Society of Virology meeting will be given all in English. And the GVN was uh, so kind that decide that all the session will be open. This means that whatever delegate from GVN or from the Spanish Society can attend either the GVN meeting or the Spanish Society of Virology meeting, which I believe it's, it's quite interesting. The, uh, regarding the scientific program, as you can imagine, this is a kind of a special design because of this joint venture. But the whole duration of event is uh, three complete days because we uh, start on Sunday afternoon uh, until Wednesday morning. And the specific duration of the GVN meeting will be two days, which will be the complete Monday and Tuesday. In fact, uh, uh, as you will see, 
the, the meeting is a slightly different from the current layout that we have had here in NSC on in the previous GBN meetings. But we, of course, we will base it on uh, the presence of a number of keynote speakers as well as oral communications and posters. And we encourage especially uh, young virologists uh, that uh, may belong to GBN centers and, of course, other centers to present their results in the, in the, uh, in the Congress as well. We will have an inaugural lecture provided by Dr. Gallo. Bob, thank you very much for accepting to be with us uh, next year. And we will have, uh, as I told you, three concurrent sessions. We will have as well a roundtable discussion, which will be in common for both uh, Congresses, as well as uh, the, the whole morning Monday. We will have a total of 20 keynote speakers. And the idea, as I told you, is to uh, emphasize on the participation of young virologists and not so young virologists. Everybody is welcome, of course. And we will have uh, quite a significant number of our communication as well as flash posters will be posters in which there will be an oral presentation of five minutes. This is uh, the program at a glance that we have so far. As you can see, we start on Sunday uh, uh, afternoon with the, the, the opening lecture from, uh, from Bob. And then we have a session which is shared between the GBN and the Spanish Society of Virology meeting in a morning session with four speakers on preparedness and different task force followed by another session of host virus interaction. And then in the afternoon, as you can see, we will uh, split in the three different sessions. What you see here on this uh, green color is what belongs specifically to the GBN meeting. Uh, as you can see on Tuesday morning, we will have the roundtable discussion with the One Health concept. The idea is to bring virologists coming from the human, the animal, and the environmental uh, sites. So I believe that we will have a very nice discussion. We will have a specifically uh, a session on antiviral therapy as well as another one on respiratory viruses. Then the meeting will continue. Of course, I invite all of you to keep until the, the very end of the, of the meeting. We will be at uh, by midday of Wednesday. And with that, I will show you a little video about Barcelona. So hopefully you will like the, the city. Well, so I hope that the scientific uh, program will be of your interest, but hopefully Barcelona will interest you as well. So thank you very much for all and see you in Barcelona next year.